Another deadly day as Israeli's prime minister vowed to, quote, crush and destroy Hamas. The war has already claimed at least 2,300 lives on both sides. Now, this report comes with a warning about graphic details and images. As we begin the sixth day of fighting, it is now Thursday. The 12th. The Israel Defense Forces providing its daily update in the war against Hamas. The scenes are out of a zombie movie. Family photos strewn among the wreckage. The Israeli government choosing to release raw barbaric images like this one tweeted by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu showing a child's bedroom ransacked and bloodied. The caption? Hamas is worse than ISIS. Yeah, it's the first time that Israel really um, showed this kind of a picture because this time this attack is very different from other attacks. The Consul General of Israel to the Pacific Northwest with us at 6 o'clock. When they're murdering babies and women and raping women and then burning their bodies and beheading babies. <laughs> to show to the world. It's not about territory, it's about inhumanity. <laughs> we are people with families, and we want to be back families again. Americans, meanwhile, pleading with President Biden and the Israeli government for the return of family members they say are among the 150 people taken hostage by Hamas. Folks, there's a lot we're doing, a lot we're doing. I have not given up hope of bringing these folks home. The White House confirming at least 22 Americans have been killed, with 17 others unaccounted for. Hospitals in Gaza and Israel overwhelmed. Doctors Without Borders on the ground treating patients issued this statement saying, Today, all of the patients we received at our clinic in Gaza City were children between 10 and 14. This is because the majority of the injured in Gaza are women and children, since they are the ones who are most often in the houses that get destroyed in the airstrikes. Fox 11 medical contributor ER Dr. Michael Daniel attended medical school in Israel and says his colleagues there now paint a grim picture. A lot of patients coming in with trauma, traumatic injuries, projectile injuries, gunshots, stabbings. Then you have the blast injuries from the rocket attacks as well. For U.S. citizens stuck in the war zone as major airlines like Delta, American and United suspend or limit flights, the Consul General with this message. We're trying to create every every type of communication with every American citizen on the ground to help them out or to come to Israel to a safe haven. Every American citizen needs help in Israel is going to get his help. Tonight, word from the Egyptian government, it is rejecting any proposal from the U.S. to establish safe corridors to get civilians out of Gaza. Now, this news comes as the Biden administration says it is in active conversations to achieve a safe route out for civilians.